So we're here on the shore at Hollywood and during this time of social distancing, and I'm lucky enough that this is just a few minutes from where I live, um, today we're going to be having a look for some nudibranchs. Whilst most nudibranchs occur in the subtitle, and you need scuba gear to find them. There's still quite a few that we can find here on the shore. I'm just going to have a look under some boulders. So I've just found this nudibranch here. He's called a sea lemon and he's feeding on this sponge, the breadcrumb sponge. If we look at the side of the stone that was up, you can see the sponge is very green because it's got algae growing in it, but underneath it's yellow. And the nudibranch that feeds on this sponge is really well camouflaged. It's very hard to see. This little circle here is where his gills are, but he's got them pulled in at the moment. There's two little depressions here where his head tentacles are, and again, he's got them pulled inside at the moment. Nudibranchs are very picky eaters. Um, and this sea lemon only eats a particular group of sponges so it's always good if you know what the nudibranchs eat and you look at their food and then look carefully for them. Just put them back. Make sure we've always put the stones back down the right way so that the animals that are living on the underside don't die. So, yeah, I've just found some of the sea lemons spawn here. So they lay this white gelatinous ribbon in a coil. And when you find this, then the adults are usually close by. And if we look here, we can see this is the sponge that the sea lemon feeds on the green breadcrumb sponge and in this little pocket here we have the adult nudibranch. I'll just turn over some more boulders. Oops. Uh, ah, okay. So there is actually a nudibranch under this boulder. Um, he's on this little rock down here. He's not actually under the boulder itself but he's taken shelter from it. He's just down here. 